Hi, my name is Martin Irvine. I'm the director of Irvine Contemporary Gallery in Washington, D.C. And we're introducing Akemi Mayagawa's Invisible Ink. It's her first solo exhibition. And I've been fascinated with Akemi's work for years. I think she's one of the most uh, interesting artists in, in every category. Um, you'll see works in this show that are very conceptual. She works with sculpture and installation. Uh, she has a great sense of uh, humor and irony. She works with puns and metaphors. Uh, she creates these exquisitely crafted objects in all kinds of materials, in, in porcelain and in stoneware and leather and fabric. Uh, and they're full of surprises. Uh, every time you look at her work, uh, you'll just uh, notice things that'll either make you laugh or you'll discover new things about uh, what it is to be an artist, what it is to make art. And part of it has to do with the way she's able to combine cultures. As someone born in Japan and now working in America, she has a wonderful sense of how you can look at two different cultures and combine ideas and come up with uh, totally new uh, works of art based on the way that you can merge and think about cultures and their languages and their ideas. For example, uh, I'm sitting on uh, one of her recent pieces, uh, which is called uh, Your Sunny Side Up Chair. And as you can see, it's made of uh, this beautiful fabric uh, that represents the white of an egg. And this stoneware, painted stoneware center yoke, um, and it's based on a really interesting set of metaphors that combine Japanese and English. Um, in Japan, uh, the metaphor used for describing a fried egg uh, literally translates to cooked eyeball. So the yolk that we're familiar with is metaphorically described like an eyeball in Japanese. And of course, we say sunny side up, a whole different kind of metaphor. And so what she thought about doing is, is creating an object where people have to confront uh, the cultural differences in the metaphor. And also something that is very much like a Japanese meditative space. Um, it's an interactive uh, installation or sculpture. Um, and in the artist's concept, this work only exists if a viewer or a participant uh, engages with the work. Hi, I would like to introduce uh, an installation within this exhibition uh, that is particularly intriguing for the way Akemi Magawa works with concepts and ideas and the way she's able to take an artist's concept and create really fascinating inversions of our expectations of the way art objects and artworks uh, would normally be encountered. Here we have her uh, her inversion of the usual relationship between a text that you might see in a museum in a gallery and the art object itself. Although both of them are part of the work, and if you were to buy and collect this work, of course you would receive both. But here we have an inversion of the text, which here is greatly enlarged and converted into an object in its own right, and the smaller work of art, which it describes. And here we have size matters, porcelain, one and a half inches by uh, three quarter inches in the object next to it. So it, it contains a really wonderful uh, pun about the relationship between text, which we normally think describes or objectifies the artwork, and the artwork itself here, of course, inverted and converted into different kinds of objects. And here we have another example, size matters number five, which as you see right here on a little shelf, like you might see again in a museum or gallery, the little art object, which here is hamburgers and fries, which is you know reduced down to a, sm a very small level. And then we have the very large wall text or wall plaque that you might see in a gallery or museum, which of course is increased to a much larger size and becomes an object in its own right next to the work of art. Akemi's work uh, fits into a really interesting art tradition 
uh, in the U.S. And, and internationally. It's usually known as conceptual art. And one of the most uh, famous proponents of conceptual art, a very kind of ironic and playful uh, version of conceptual art, uh, Bruce Nauman, uh, was just named to be the U.S. Uh, representative at the next Venice Biennale. So conceptual art is still very much uh, alive and it's, it's now really kind of interwoven and embedded in so many different other kinds of art practices. So you'll see it here in Akemi's work and how it comes alive in her different kinds of uh, sculptural works and other kinds of installation works. Uh, but I think you get a sense of how an artist works conceptually uh, and in the conceptual art tradition in this wonderful installation which uh, she's called Size Matters. <laughs> 